You heard me right. I'm going to talk about tea that was inspired by those tropical cocktails we all love when we are either in our backyard or an actual tea hut. Think about tropical island. Think about paradise. Think about delicious iced tea. Friends, my name is Joy. I'm the owner of Sabrosa Tea. We're a small company based in Northern Ohio, and we will ship anywhere in the United States. We have some brand new technology that I'm using here. Um, we used to use a broadcasting app that would do things a certain way, but we got our mobile shopping app updated, so we can now go live on our website. So you're going to want to definitely check that out. We have a page on our website called Live Shopping Videos. The reason why you want to know about that is that at the bottom of that page, well, let's say at the top of the page, you can watch replays, which is super cool if you're busy on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and can't join us live. But at the bottom of the page, I have, I'm going to be updating it with our uh, schedule. So you'll know which tea I'll be talking about on Sunday nights. We have an awful lot of tea. We have over 100 flavors of loose leaf tea that we sell all year. Those can be found on our loose leaf tea tab. When you kind of toggle down from that, you'll see a drop down menu. Those teas are arranged by caffeine content. The tea I'm going to be talking about today is a limited edition collection. As you can imagine, tea inspired by a tiki hut. It's summer. It really is. It's summertime. So that's a themed collection that we'll only have for a short period of time. You can find the tea collection I'm going to be talking about now and other themed collections over on our limited edition webpage. Awesome sauce. Back to the live videos, though. When you go to the, our website, which is subrosatea.com, you look at the page called Live Shopping Videos. At the very bottom, you'll see the schedule. Click on that. When you click on the image of the calendar event, it's going to give you a choice whether or not you want to add it to your calendar, like on your cell phone or your desktop, if that's something that you manage yourself, or um, your social media pages. You can share it with your friends. So we're really hoping to make sure that we reach as much of our audience as possible. And I know not everyone has downloaded our mobile shopping app, but for those of you that have, far as we are told right now, our Apple devices have been updated. They've gone through the process and they've been approved. The Android devices, the mobile shopping app might look the way it has for the past couple of years, but it might also look different. We don't really know. Some of these just take time to go through the process. They are different. Bear with us. We're going to try to get everything done. As far as I know, we've done everything on our page, on our side of things of the tech and submitting it for approval. If one got approved, I'm sure the other one is too. But you can always watch things on our website. This is fabulous. I am watching a video of myself and it kind of looks like I have a shiny white no nose, which I do funny things with my makeup, but that's not one of them. <laughs> I, I do not actually in real life have a shiny white nose. So I can't wait to see this on the replay. Maybe it's just something on my screen. <laughs> anyway, friends, if you are watching live, there's a live right above my head. If you're watching it on the replay, feel free to use the hashtag replay. We do play our videos both on our social media and on our YouTube, and of course, on our website. I'm gonna make it quick. I am just going to talk about our Tiki Hut inspired teas in this video, but because you can watch the replays of the other collections. I will say though, while I am getting started, I'm gonna make some tea just to kind of catch you up to date if you are new. Let's see, uh, we sell loose leaf tea. As you can see, loose leaf tea. I'm gonna make us some tea here. I'm pouring loose leaf tea into our mist iced tea jug. It's a glass jug. It makes six cups. It's in the door of your fridge. When you are watching our videos on our website or on the mobile shopping app, they are shoppable. So if you're watching on social media, I got to say thank you. Thank you very much. But some of the information that I'm going to be um, like not talking about in detail on the video is because you can read all those details on our website, uh, like all the ingredients. A lot of our flavors have an awful lot of ingredients, so those are listed out on our website. When you're watching a shoppable video, 
when I'm on the screen and you like something, like the Mist Ice Tea Jug, all you have to do is tap the screen and it'll put the item into your cart, which is really fun, right? That's a cool way to shop. You're not obligated to check out or buy it until the very end, but it just kind of makes it a really easy process for our customers. Versus if you're watching on social media, you would then have to leave social media, the video playing, you'd have to leave it, then you'd have to go to our website, again, it's subrosatea.com, find the listing of the product that I was talking about. And I hate wasting your time. I love being efficient. <laughs> so once again, we're a small company. We're based in Ohio. We'll ship anywhere in the United States. We have over 100 flavors of loose leaf tea. We do also sell matcha, gift sets, and great tea accessories. We have the tea in three sizes. So the Try Me size makes five to six servings. That's this baggie here. And like I said, this size, the half ounce, it makes five to six servings, which is why you saw me empty an entire jug, an entire bag of it into this jug because it makes six cups. This is the Mist Ice Tea Jug. Can you tell it's already turning blue? I don't know on screen if it's gonna look black or purple, but it is a beautiful aqua blue. This is our Blue Hawaii, a part of this collection. We also sell a two ounce. The two ounce is our value size and it makes 20 to 25 servings. So that's the value size. And of course we do sell an eight ounce bag as well, making around a hundred servings. I also wanted to say that this particular collection, the Tiki Hut inspired tea collection has three black tea, two green tea, and one that it's caffeine free. You can buy all the tea individually, but if you buy it as a bundle, you will save money, which is nice. If you're looking for a bundle that has less caffeine, you might want to try our Summertime in Italy tea collection. That just came out two weeks ago, so you might not have even had a chance to try it yet. But our Summertime in Italy collection has two black tea and four that are caffeine-free. So if you're buying both, that's fabulous because you're going to get an even bigger variety. The flavor profiles are extremely different. Again, this is Tiki Hut. So you really got to think those tropical island vibes, right? And definitely great for iced tea. Honestly, friends, we sell loose leaf tea. So all the tea is good, hot or cold. But all of these teas, in my mind... I was assuming that you would drink them cold because they are inspired by cocktails that are always served cold when you are on an island somewhere. Okay, tell me what your favorites are, right? I've got favorites. I, I have favorites, but I got to tell you, every time I go, it's something different. It's just kind of whatever strikes me as fun. So I went with really traditional, iconic cocktails that I was hoping you all knew about. Here where I live, uh, Northern Ohio, we actually live very, very close to the shores of Lake Erie. I can see beautiful water quite often. Uh, we have islands in the middle of Lake Erie. So the bars around here and on the islands tend to create specialty drinks. Well, you're probably not going to be, I'm not expecting everyone to know the same specialty drink, but these are iconic cocktails that inspired me to create these uh, fabulous Tiki Hut inspired tea. So I'm going to jump in and talk about them. So again, friends, if you're watching on the website or the mobile shopping app, I'm going to move the queue as I talk about the teas. First up is our Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii. If you're not familiar with this particular cocktail, it is a delicious blend of pineapple. Yes, the cocktail turns blue from an alcoholic beverage. There's no alcohol in this tea, absolutely not. It is just blue sleep tea. But what I've done here is I've used butterfly pea flour with the pineapple. Now there's a lot of ingredients in this tea because it has a great depth of flavor. If you are looking for something um, more fruit forward that is just um, more a traditional fruit taste, you might be interested in our Summer Splash collection. Again, the Summer Splash is more fruit forward. 
We have a tea called Maui Pineapple. It's just straight sweet pineapple taste. If that's what you're looking for, that would be a better choice. And of course, we have an entire summer splash tea collection for that. But here with the Blue Hawaii, you're going to get more than just pineapple. And I've had to use a lot of different ingredients to give it that depth of flavor to mimic a cocktail, a cocktail that you would have on a tropical island. It is delicious and nice and cold. This is a black tea, so it does have caffeine around 60 milligrams of caffeine per eight ounce cup it is great it is so it steeps up cold really easy all you need is cold water with your loose leaf tea and stick it in the fridge it'll taste good in about 20 minutes but you can leave it there two hours or even overnight this all of these teas that are in this collection specifically are good cold, but they're also good re-steeped. So when you are done drinking all of this iced tea, just put more cold water in. You can re-steep the tea leaves three to four times with cold water. I think you're gonna love it. Next up is our pina colada, pina colada. Friends, we have been in business since the year 2012. Pina Colada was not one of the very first teas, uh, flavors that we had, but it was still in the beginning of our history because it was very popular. But we have just this year reformulated the blend, so it is definitely different. It is, um, in my opinion, just better. It's just Everything is better about it. There is a lot more flavor. It is still a black tea, so it does have caffeine. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for joining live. I appreciate it. What are you sipping on right now? Something tropical? <laughs> anyway, friends, the most important thing I think everyone knows about a pina colada, it's pineapple and coconut. And so is this tea, of course. But I wanted to make sure that I stressed that the recipe has been updated and upgraded and it is a fabulous. Next up, let's stick with the ones that have caffeine. Let's stick with, let's do Rum Runner next. Rum Runner. If you've never heard of a Rum Runner, well, I bet you've all heard of it, but you might not have tasted it. So a Rum Runner is, again, extremely tropical, is banana. It's always banana. Now, sometimes it's got some coconut. That makes a lot of sense for a tropical cocktail, right? And it always has a sweetness to it. So again, they're using alcohol and I get to use some other ingredients that are super fun. So I've used caramel to make this tea sweeter. And the cocktail normally has grenadine. If you're not familiar with that, the funny thing is grenadine tends to morph depending on where it's made, and how it's used. So grenadine by definition isn't always the same thing. And you're gonna see that I've mimicked it twice. And this one in particular, it's black currant. So it's got great depth of flavor. It is delicious and smooth. So this rum runner is definitely banana forward. Very tropical, very, very fun. Jennifer, she loves a good rum runner. Good, I'm so thankful that you have heard of it at least. Okay, next up, let's see, did I skip one? I didn't do it on purpose. Okay, so three black tea, we talked about all three of those. Next up, we're gonna talk about the two green teas. This is our Melon Mint Mojito. Melon Mint Mojito, I'll show it to you. So this is a green tea, it's low in caffeine steeps up fabulously cold. If you're not familiar, black tea has around 60 milligrams of caffeine per eight ounce cup. Green tea has closer to 20, so it's nice and light, perfect for the afternoon. This um, melon mint mojito, it is not as punchy on the mint as that say just a cup of peppermint tea, but it balances the, the melon to such an extent that you almost don't know what you're drinking. And that's exactly the way a mixed cocktail normally plays with the flavors. You want it to be mixed. You don't want to just be drinking a cup of mint tea. That's not the intention. If that's what you wanted, that's what you would do. Cocktails are fun because they have such great depth of flavor. So this is bright on your palate. It is nice and sweet. It has that mini lightness of the mint, but it, it just brings a brightness to the entire drink. And it is 
very, very different than the other tea in this collection. So if you like variety, I highly recommend you get the entire Tiki Hut inspired collection because there is so much variety amongst the flavors. Oh, hey there, Miss Janet. Thanks for tuning in live. I appreciate it. Okay, next up, Tequila Sunrise. Tequila Sunrise, friends, we are in the low caffeine teas. This is another low caffeine tea. This is actually a blend of green and white tea. White tea has even more, ca um, more antioxidants than green tea does, but less caffeine. So this has got just that little bit less than your melon, mint, mojito. Tequila Sunrise, again, if this is a cocktail that just eludes you and you've never had one, it's named after the cocktail's appearance. So it's the opposite. It's an inverted sunrise. That's where it gets its name. So it's beautiful and orange and red and kind of gradient, if you know what I mean. This is delicious. So tequila sunrise is typically made with orange juice. So think about yourself. You've got your tropical drinks right after dinner. You're drinking all night long. You are waking up to a tropical sunrise and what's the first thing you do probably reach for some orange juice so it makes a lot of sense when you think about those fun nights right so tequila sunrise this tea definitely orange forward but not in a harsh way the way orange juice can be but in a sweet nice light way white and green teas are typically quite light in flavor this has got a lot of depth of flavor but it's not overly powering and it's not overly sweet you're drinking it for all the great health benefits so think about orange and again tequila sunrise is typically used with grenadine in this application it uh leans more towards the pomegranate so that's what i have done you're thinking about tropical fruits and really fabulous smooth flavors so orange pomegranate with just a little bit of peach in the background and that is it here as you can see the white tea well i'm hoping you can see and that the white tea leaves are actually green in color. They're not like bright white. They are white in color, but they are broader and flatter. And I can tell visually how beautiful this particular white tea is. So very happy that it is in this collection. It is just perfect for Tiki Hut. Next up, we have number six in our Tiki Hut collection. This is my Tai Chai. My Tai Chai. If you've never had a Mai Tai, um, lots of citrus fruits, definitely fruit forward. This tea, I'm calling it Mai Tai Chai, but I don't want you to feel like it is heavy in the spice. It's really just the opposite. It is very tropical, uh, citrus fruit forward. The spices are very light. Yes, they are in there, but they give it more a depth of flavor. Again, when I am creating a tea blend based on um, something that I've actually had, there's a lot of depth of flavor that goes into a cocktail. It's multiple ingredients that they are playing in a certain ratio together. So the spices are in the background, but it's very, very light. I would have to say most people wouldn't even call this a chai tea if they just had a sip of it, but I know that you're all going to love it. I don't play with uh, grapefruit very often, but I think it's going to come forward enough in this that you are going to call it a citrus blend. It's going to be your summertime favorite. It is caffeine free. So this is another one with all the great fruits and spices. You can absolutely steep it up cold in your jug but for the rooibos and the health benefits do consider steeping it hot and then chilling it so in a jug like this as you saw when i was steeping up the blue hawaii i just put the tea leaves and the cold water in if you own this jug do not fill it up with hot water it is not necessary when your end goal is iced tea so put all the tea leaves in and just steep it with about an inch to two inches of hot water. Set your timer, okay, five, eight minutes. It's a rooibos, no problem. And then go ahead and shock it. You're going to fill your jug with cold water and ice and stick it in the fridge. Shocking it is going to 
uh, reduce the temperature in a fast way, which will steep the hot stop, the hot steeping process. This tea in particular, not going to get bitter ever, no matter what you do to it. It's no problem. But I was thinking about the other teas, the black teas, the green teas. If you decide to steep them hot, make sure you set a timer, make sure you shock it to stop the steeping process and then fill it up with cold water or ice before you put it into the fridge and then let it go, you know, let it chill in the chill chest. <laughs> anyway, my Tai Chai, this tea in particular, friends, I think we're going to have it all year because it is so vastly different than the other chai teas that we sell. And it is really fabulous. So we are introducing it here with the Tiki Hut collection. But I have a feeling in my gut, we're going to have it all year. So look for it to come back. Oh, yeah, that reminds me at the top of the video, I did mention that we have a couple of other collections that might interest you. So the Tiki Hot inspired collection, very fruity. Of course, we've got spices and mint as well, but we have more caffeine in this collection than some of the others. So do check out our summertime in Italy tea bundle. This bundle has two black teas, four caffeine free teas. You can find those on our limited edition page. And of course, our summer splash tea collection that is still available because it has been so popular. So very fruit forward, um, perfect hot or cold, of course, but really traditional fruits that I think you are going to love. I do not see a lot of questions, but again, I want to remind you that our schedule of live videos, they are always at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday nights, except for possibly like twice a year. Every once in a while, I do go rogue and pick another night, but I've got a really good reason to do so. But you'll see our schedule of uh, planned live videos on our website. So when you go to our website, look for the page called Live Video Shopping. On that page, you can watch replays of the videos of our already done recently with this new broadcasting app. They are shoppable videos. I think you're going to love that feature. And at the very, very bottom is our schedule. So I want to say thank you, friends. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And no matter what you do with the rest of your day, have yourself a cup of tea and take care of you. Bye-bye, friends.